I'm making this video to show you guys how to look up last week stocks prices. Okay, it's called they're they're called historical stock prices. So I did last week on the 26th of October, but I I missed yesterday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of last week's everything. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to repaste it a little bit. I'm going to give it some space there. Paste. And it should look just the same. But I'm going to delete the old prices. Shkabam. I'm going to leave the change thing alone here because it, it should be fine. But I'm going to change the date to 11... And Wednesday was 02, so I checked mine on, on Wednesdays, so there it is. So this is how you get to the old stock prices. I'm going to, again, you could go ahead and use my sheet, but this, this one right here, finances at Yahoo, easiest one to use. There's a bunch of them, but this is the easiest one I use. So I'm going to just, again, I'll put that right here so you guys can find it. Shkabam. And I'm going to go there. So, and I'm just going to look up the prices. So, hold on one second. And I'll go there. Click. So, I'm at the Yahoo page, right? So, my first one was Target. So, I'm just going to type in Target. I'm going to spell it right. Target. And so this is today's target. To get yesterday's or any time before yesterday, you simply go to historical data. Historical data. And mine was on the second yesterday. So I always use the closing price. You can use whichever one you want. Just make sure it's the same one. So again, November 2nd for me, that's 160.20. So 160.20. Next is Ford Motor Company. And let's do motor phone, Ford Motor Company. Hold on. Having a senior moment here. Thank you. Ford. There it is right there. Ford Motor Company. And again, there's today's price, but I want yesterday's price. So I go to historical data. And it was yesterday's price. Uh, 1306. 1306. 13.06. And then let's check out Toyota. Oh, what a feeling. Toyota. And again, that's just, that's today's price. Oh, red is bad. But I'm going to go to historical data and I want to look up yesterday's price. 130, no, I'm sorry, 135.39. 135.39. All right, I'm going to pause this video and do them all. You don't need to see that, so hold on. So I got all the prices updated. Now I'm going to fix these change things. Go ahead and delete all these because they're wrong. All right. <laughs> but we're going to pick that cell to figure out the change from target from last week to this week. So we pick that cell, we go to the function bar, we type in equals. So I want today's value minus last week's value right there. Enter. And, right, so if it's got a parentheses, that's bad. It means it lost money. But here's the good thing. Um, since since we did it with one and everything is identical to the above, right, this, this whole week is identical to this whole week, I could just go ahead and click and drag that formula down all the way down, and it'll tell me who made money. And so, that's one thing I haven't figured out yet. But black means it made money, red means it lost money. And the big loser is Microsoft. Dang. That Google, Microsoft and Google, two of the big tech companies going down. Tech's going down, Brown. Um... And then total change, that's not the right number either. So my new value is this, and my old value was that. So what I do is I click that box. Again, I go to the 
function bar, type in the word equal or just equals, and I want the old value. No, I want today's value minus last week's value. Bam. So that's not right. Let's try that again. Uh, we want E29. Hold on a second. I want today's value. Bam. Right. Minus. It's the hyphen. Last week's value and enter. Shkabam. There we go. We're losing money, honey. No surprises there. Yeah. Kind of hemorrhaging out there these days. So we lost uh, 1700 bucks in a week. But the week before, we made 1900 bucks. So it's kind of got this up and down feel. But that's how you that's how you look up historical data. No biggie. All right. Thank you. MGZ out.